Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Look, if you're struggling to get business credit, let me tell you, I don't care if you're a DBA, a LLC, a new startup, one thing that you do not have to worry about when getting business credit cards, all right? And that's a DUNS number. It doesn't matter if you have a DUNS number, a Paydex score, or net thirties, because these are the credit cards that you actually want to go for. And these are low hanging fruit credit cards. And what I mean by low hanging fruit is much easier to get these cards. All right. Now, the first one I'm going to tell you about is the Capital One Spark Gold Card. Okay. That Capital One Spark Gold Card, I keep telling you guys, with a 580 credit score, you should be able to qualify for this card. Now, here's the situation that I explained in another video. If you defaulted with a credit card account with Capital One, if it's over one year old, you still have a higher chance of being approved for this business credit card. OK, because Capital One tries to separate their business credit cards from their personal credit cards. Now, the downfall of the card is that it reports on the business and the personal side. However, you can lock up one or two of your credit files so they can only uh, pull from one file. All right. Many people are not aware of that, but it is possible to do that. Now, the second card is the GM business. The reason the GM business credit card, I keep telling you guys, not only do you get 0% interest on purchase and balance transfers for 12 months, but you can get approved for this card with no hard pull on the credit. That's right. No hard pull on the credit. So doing the credit card hack. And what I told you guys, since they offer the pre-approval and the credit card is through Goldman Sachs. Since they offer the pre-approval, it's a TransUnion FICO 9 card. So I want you to understand it. If you go through the pre-approval, okay, once you see how much you are pre-approved for, and then what you want to do, you want to open up a second screen and you want to lock your TransUnion file. So then you go back to the other uh, account that's open and then you apply for the card. Now, again, it may delay the approval process, maybe about two, three days. But at the same time, because you already did the pre-approval, they already had took a snapshot of your credit file. This is the reason why I keep on telling you guys about these low hanging fruit. Now, some of you guys may be with Navy Federal. And I tell you guys, Navy Federal, in terms of when it comes to business funding, they are good in reference to, like, they'll give you a business credit card and a business loan without any revenue in the business, okay? And yes, you can be around a 680 credit score, but just keep in mind with the Navy Federal business credit card that... Their situation is any of your business transactions, they're not reporting it to the business credit bureaus, okay? So, yes, you can raise $25,000, $35,000 with Navy Federal, all right? Now, here's the key thing, because Navy Federal does two credit reports, right? First, they pull your Experian FICO 9, OK, and so why this is important is because you can add your authorized users. And for those of you that don't know how to add authorized users, need help with authorized users, click the link in the description. Now, they can add authorized users. All right. You can add utility bills. You can add subscriptions and you can add rental payments. This will influence your FICO 9 scoring. OK, this is why. Now, what I mean about two scoring systems, all right? So that's the FICO 9. But also, by you having to join, you have a higher chance when you have a good internal score with Navy Federal. Now, a good internal score that I always tell you, their scores go from 100 up to 450. Once you're over 3 50, 325, 350, you have a higher chance of larger amounts of approval. Now, let me explain it, okay? If you have direct deposits, if you have a checking account, I always tell you to get the flagship checking account, to get the savings account, 
Okay. Now, here's two things that most people don't know that will help you with Navy Federal as well. I made a video about two secret accounts that you may want to have to get a higher approval. And this shows long term longevity. That's either a money market account or their CD shared accounts, which start at about $50. OK, now, if you have bad credit, then what you want to do, of course, is have the pledge loan and you don't need multiple pledge loan, just one pledge loan. And then you can have uh, the end rewards. However, if you have those multiple accounts, what ends up happening on the personal side, they will bypass giving you the secured card usually and give you an unsecured card because you have multiple accounts and you're showing long term because you don't open up that CD of money market as well. These are secret accounts that people don't know about. So I'm telling you guys. Now, another one is PNC Bank. Why? Because it's another low hanging fruit. PSC Bank, the reason I like them because of Experian FICO 9. Low hanging fruit because of I, what I just said about how to influence that. Now, here's another thing about PNC Bank that I like is because not only will they give you a business credit card, but usually after 90 days, if they shoot deposits and utilizations of the account, you can also get their line of credit without a hard pull on the file. I'm just giving you low hanging fruit here. The reason I focus on the low hanging fruit is because I know once you get into the habit of building up the business credit file and stuff, it'll position you more into getting more business credit cards. Now, I'm not saying like Chase, let's look at Chase for a minute because I know a lot of people probably run into Chase and you should have a Chase Citibank or Capital One business bank account. And the reason is, is because those are the ones that are reporting to Experian Business, Equifax Business, Small Business, Financial Exchange, and that information share with Dunn and Bradstreet, right? So say that you wanted a Chase card, all right? The Chase Inc. card. Here's the thing about it. With the Chase Inc. card, and I just made a video, you can check it out. I'll probably put a link below. But with the Chase Inc. card, and I gave more data points, with the Chase Inc. cards, all right, their credit cards is 0% for 12 months as well. However, if you come in as a new client and you don't have a high credit score, and what I mean by high credit score, I'm talking above a 720. If you're below a 720 and you go in and you get a business credit card, more likely they're going to probably start you out less than $10,000. They're going to be very conservative with you. All right. So that's the reason I tell people it's better to go to these other financial institutions that are not tier one uh, lenders. Start with the other tier and get their lines of credit in their credit cards because it makes it much easier for you to get higher limits with the other tier one banks, all right? So those are just some of the cards I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions about business funding, credit funding, uh, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.